whirlwind of the last three weeks. I just feel like I was just in go mode constantly. So um, it'll be nice to go home to see my whole family. Jess is driving up um, with Grayson, so I'm super excited. But yeah, um, played really well today. Um, just stuck to my game plan of fairways and greens and um, yeah, uh, made the least amount of mistakes. I, uh, it's been such a long couple of weeks, obviously, but I want to take it back a little bit to the third day of stroke play, knowing you had to play your way in and then mm -hmm. just kind of the run you went on afterwards. Just what, what were your thoughts heading into that day and, and just maybe kind of build off that momentum with, with using that round? Yeah, I think the third day was actually the toughest day weather-wise that we had. It was blowing really hard and the weather was really cold as well. So I was thinking I was at two over, so I was thinking that could possibly get in if I just shoot even. But, um, you know, I started rolling some birdies in on the front nine and I was like, okay, like I'm hitting it really well, feeling pretty good. Let's see how, how low I can go. And the back nine just plays a lot harder, I feel like. I feel like there's definitely more opportunities on the front nine when it just comes off the tee and the greens. So, um, yeah, just got it really going on the front nine on the third day and then kind of eased into it on the back nine. Absolutely. We'll go ahead and open it up in here in the media center. Uh, for those on Zoom, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put it in the chat. Real quick on today, to get off to a fast start, is obviously important in any match, but given the back nine here, how important is that to have a lead when you make the turn? Yeah, it's always nice to um, get a lead, kind of like a cushion in a sense, but it's Leona. Uh, she's <laughs> such a fiery competitor. I just knew when I lost those two, and two holes in a row, 13 and 14, that I really needed to put my foot down to finish the match off. Um, so, you know, it, um, it was a kind of, an interesting day kind of hit Leona hit some putts that she obviously normally wouldn't but um, just stayed in my own bubble really when we look at the notes now we see your name there with Kathy Whitworth and Nancy yeah. Lopez and Annika and Lorena what, what comes to your mind when you see your name with those people it's such an honor um, Kathy's really good friend actually texted me last week a photo of me just being compared to Kathy on social media and I wrote her back that it's it's an honor to be alongside her I used to play in her event growing up the Kathy Whitworth Invitational in Texas and meeting her and getting to talk to her was always kind of like the highlight of my year and she was always so so nice so getting compared to Kathy Whitworth is a huge honor and then um, obviously when you go for five in a row now it's a major but yep. you get this week off first and I, I, mm -hmm. you were saying on TV just being home and being able to rest and get in your own bed is is just what you're looking forward to first yeah it's the little things in life just yeah. sleeping in your own bed yeah thanks Doing. Brian Herbert, LasVegasGolfInsider.com. After you've played the course several times now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind of Shadow Creek after this experience? Well, one, I mean, when you drive into the facility, it just doesn't even feel like you're in Vegas. Um, it's absolutely breathtaking. Uh, such an amazing, amazing golf course. It is brutal, though. It is so hard. It has tested every part of my game. And I appreciate that. I, I think that golf courses like that are so much fun to play. They're so frustrating where you're just like, you walk off the hole and like, you're just so frustrated. There's a couple swear words going through your head. But um, I would say that it almost played like all the majors combined and they tested our game this week. And um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And obviously you, exude excellence, your family exudes excellence. How do you define the word excellence? How do I define the word excellence? I don't know, just showing up every day and being your true self, um, going out and giving 100% um, every single day and um, being consistent, Thanks. being true to yourself. Thanks, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll turn now to the Zoom. Uh, Kent, if you want to go ahead and op uh, unmute your mic. Nell, you mentioned in the past that in each of these wins, you learned something about yourself. What have you learned over this this run about yourself? Um, 
that even when I'm really, really low on energy and everything that, you know, if I go out, do my thing, stay committed, stay in my, stay in my own bubble, I can compete well at a good level. And you talked about with Golf Channel how important your fitness routine was during your break. How different might your body feel right now if this was a different season where you were healthy, but you didn't have that seven week break where you were really focusing on your fitness versus how you feel now? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's an answer I'll probably um, never have an answer to. Um, or um, so. I'm unsure. I mean, I'm grateful for all the work that I have put in and, um, you know, I, we did put a lot of work into it. So, um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, everyone's just trying to get better. Um, either it's off the course or on the course. So, um, that was just an aspect that I really wanted to work on in that seven week break. And, um, it's, uh, been paying off quite well. You know, the season's still, it's still the beginning of the seasons. We haven't, we haven't even hit the first major of the year, but, um, what I really, my goal into this year was to be happy and healthy. What did a typical workout look like during that period? Um, a secret, <laughs> no, I was just just a lot of strengthening in areas that, you know, I don't want to train like a golfer. I want to train like an athlete. And thankfully my team and I, we all have the same outlook on it. So just honestly, a full body strengthening session. Thanks, Nelly. Thanks. Sarah. Hey, Nelly, congrats. Um, just what's a, what's a, you know, obviously physical stamina, but your mental stamina right now, I mean, winning, four in a row. How are you feeling mentally? I mean, clearly okay, because you've looked super dominant the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm feeling, honestly, I'm actually feeling really good. I don't know if it's going to hit me when I get home, um, but I feel I feel really good. Like, thankfully, you know, I have a lot of consistency in my life. I see the same people every single day. I do the same stuff every single day, and I try to stay in my own little bubble, and I feel like mentally that's the best thing that you can do for your mental health is kind of stay in a routine. You talked a lot about your team. Is there one person in particular that's really been super critical you feel like to this recent success or is it just a collective? No, it's just a collective. Everything kind of just has clicked a little bit more, but um, everyone plays the same exact role and same exact importance for me. And just, I guess, last one for me, it, it takes a lot of probably self-belief, self-inspiration to have a run like you're running right now. What are you drawing upon um, as you just keep going and keep playing such good golf? I just love competing. I love golf. I hopefully, you know, inspiring the next generation, but there's no greater thrill for me than competing and being out here and seeing the girls and going head to head uh, for a title. I mean, there's no greater feeling. And I, I have to say, I just, I just love the sport so much and I just love competing. I'm sorry, last one for real this time. Um, yeah, right. How are you going to celebrate <laughs> um, almond croissant after Ford? But is there any pastry or what are you going to do to celebrate? Oh uh, this my week? gosh. So I, um, I went to Paris ba baguette, I think, is that what it's called? And I got yep. so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole team and I, not just for me, okay? And then I think we're going to go get In-N-Out Burgers and Five Guys Fries. Yeah. No great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great combination. I feel like that's just an elite combination. It's just like I don't do, I don't go and celebrate. I don't drink, so I'm just carb loading. <laughs> yeah. We love a carb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, and then just last one from me. Um, obviously, can't can't let you go without talking a little Solheim. Just uh, yeah. kind of a nice little preview, and yeah. hopefully a good omen for for September. Yeah, um, you know, Leona's such a great competitor. Um, I'm pretty sure she has the winning edge on me when it comes to one v one in Solheim Cup. So I knew that today was going to be a battle, but uh, hopefully, you know, this was a good preview for uh, September. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nelly. Congrats you. again. Thank you.